Hi everybody, this is Bob and the Gang from Multiprint. If you're watching this video, then you're interested in the product information on my monster Banner Heat Welder, powered by Leicester Technology. Uh, today, I have a live job in the shop. I need to uh, print trim hem and grommet six, six foot by eight foot banners that are going out to a promotional food packing event at a local church. Uh, I'm going to get right to it here. Um, uh, what I, I have a workflow when I sell this table here, and that workflow is based on what I refer to as one pass, where I print trim hem and grommet all four profiles of the banner while that banner is up on the tabletop. So I'm going to go ahead and start demonstrating this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do here is a workflow that I like to implement in my shop. I, I make what's called a notch corner. A notch corner is a uh, one color a holding line that I print in all four corners of the banner. That notch corner is the same size nozzle as my nozzle. Uh, the nozzle that I'm using on my Leicester Uniplane 500 is a 30 millimeter nozzle which equates to a one and a quarter inch fold over hem and I'm going to be using in this case today <coughs> number three grommets which is an outside diameter of one inch so that ensures that I can get my grommet fully suspended in the hem. So the first thing I'm going to do on my notch corner is cut what I call a snipe. That is a snipe. A snipe is a diagonal cut that I make that makes it a little bit easier for me so I can see my lineup and my onboard print trimming glue. And that makes it a little easier so I can see that. I'm going to turn my vacuum on. Get my knife. And print trim my banner. The workflow in my shop, I use, like to use what I call a roll on tube workflow here, where I roll my banners on tubes. I find this a lot easier to move the work around the shop. So, what I've done is I've got my banner on my roll on tube. The workflow process here is, is a three step process. I'm going to print trim, print face up. I'm going to fold over hem, print face down. And I'm going to set grommets, print face up. So, I've done my print trimming. I'm now ready to flip the orientation. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to cut out my notch corners. This is that notch corner that I was talking about, a workflow that I like to do. I cut my notch corners. And I'm now ready to flip this over to make my fold over hand. On board on your Monster Banner heat welder, uh, powered by Leicester Technology are guidelines. The guidelines tell the operator where to set the banner material for its trim and where to fold the hem over for its fold over hem applications. So I'm going to come up here, line my trim guide up on my top guideline there, and turn my vacuum on, and now the table's got the banner on my hand spray. I'm going to come over to my guideline, my second guideline, and I'm going to pre-break the hem on that guideline. I like to pre-break it around four times. Bring my light stroke into position. Bring the knit wheel down on the end of the banner. Drop the nozzle and begin the heat welding process. And all through the heat welding while the unit's walking, I'm looking at this guideline on the table, indicating to me where to place the fold over here. And you can see it's a pretty easy process. I like to drop my grommets and washers into position. I find it a little bit easier with the workflow. I'm going to grab my grommet press. We all have, we all have hand grommet presses in the science graphics business. I have several of them that I use in my shop. This particular one is a Simpson. This particular one is a Fast Snap. I'm an outdoor event specialist, so I work with uh, lacing my banners up on my outdoor display kiosk. And I use ball bungees when I lace up. The ball bungees are a little thicker, so 
Uh, I prefer a bigger grommet. On my Stimson, I keep a number two grommet washer set. On my Fast Snap, I keep a number three. Today, I'm going to be setting number three grommets. Uh, when I print the banners, I print the banners with taking into account my fold over hem, and I put the I print the grommets in position on a fold over hem. I find a real easy workflow. So we all use these devices. I'm going to set grommet washer, and I'm going to go ahead and set my grommet. And I like to slide the grommet press underneath the banner. I find a pretty easy workflow. Go ahead and set the next grommet. Slide it down, come and set the next grommet. And I'm now ready to roll and tube the banner to the opposite side parallel profile. I'm going to grab another tube, get up on the deck, and roll the tube to the next profile. And the workflow in the shop now, I need to change the orientation so I now have my print face up. And I'm ready to hit the next profile. I'm going to come over here and do a workflow that I like to do. Which is cut a snipe in my notch corner. It makes it a lot easier for me to be able to see where the print trim. I'm going to line up my, my print trim in my onboard slot. Turn on the vacuum. Now ready to change my orientation, the print face down from my fold over hem. I'm going to line myself up on my onboard guidelines. Turn the vacuum on. Come over here and pre-break my hem. Lock that guideline. I like to do that about four times. Bring my ice truck into position and begin to heat all the up. And as you can see, it's a pretty easy going workflow. Now, today I'm using a hand grommet press. Like I mentioned, I'm using the Fast Snap, the number three grommets. I mentioned that I also keep a Stimson with the number two grommet washer set, and I also have my fully automatic grommet machine, a Car AP, AP45 fully automatic. In the next video, I'm going to be setting grommets with the fully automatic. I've now done my two long dimension profiles on my banner. I'm now ready to change the orientation and catch the opposite side profile of banners. 
I'm going to pull my silent machine out of the way here. And I love this. This is retractable, it's on wheels, moving in and out of position very easily. Now I'm going to clear my work surface. Now here's the most important part. For all of us in the wide format HF business, or basically five footers, I make my monster banner heat welder powered by Elastic Technologies five foot wide. That's important because most of us work with five foot wide material. So what I'm going to do, this particular print is 68 inches wide or a little short, a little long on five feet. I'm going to get my long dimension tube, roll on tube out of the way. I'm going to grab a short tube for the five foot dimension. I'm going to roll this panel up on that. I roll that, I'm ready to go. If you'll see here, I telescoped or I walked when I rolled that. I'm going to make a correction to get rid of that telescoping. It really helps out with all the workflow. I'm going to get my graphic lined up in my print trimming slot. Turn on a package. On these short profiles, I don't need to notch a corner. I've already done it on the two long profiles, so I'm ready to go right at it. So flip the banner over, print face down, line it up, turn on the vacuum. and I do lace up with ball bungees. So I'm going to really slow down and take my time here and make sure that my grommets are completely suspended in my corner hem. So I consider this critical here that my corners are set properly. So I'm going to take my time, go a little bit slower. And a nice corner set. I want to make sure I'm completely set within the fold over hem. One last profile to do. I'll give myself another tube. Roll myself up on the tube. Okay, you can see here I walked the telescope again. I'm going to go ahead and straighten that out. It makes it a lot easier to work. I'm now ready to make my last trim. Okay. I'm going to 
took this over, pink face down, wind myself up on my, my drop pad. Free break the hand to the guide lines. All I can do is about four times. Like I said, I like to take my time in the corners. I consider the corners to be a lot more critical. So I'm going to slow down a little bit, take the time, make sure I set them correctly. That's why I really like printing the grommets on there so I don't have to measure anything or mark anything. Two more to go. And that is my presentation for today where I use my monster banner heat welder powered by Life for Technology. This is a six foot by eight foot promotional banner going out for a gig this weekend. Okay, that's it. We've completed this banner. What I'm going to do now is unroll it, check it for quality, make sure everything's looking nice. And this is why I make these tables five foot wide to accommodate a five foot wide uh, wide format inkjet media. I find it very helpful to have a common work surface for my banner making. I'm going to check the quality. And everything's looking good. I'm looking for straight, nice and neat uh, fold over hems, nice and straight and neat grounding on both profiles. And uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. My name is Bob Miller. I am the manufacturer of the Monster Banner Heat Welder, powered by Leicester Technology Monster Tables, located in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's my phone number, guys. It's East Coast time. Today I've done a demonstration on a 6x8 uh, promotional banner where I've done in one pass, I've done a print trim, hem, and grommet on a tabletop. In any event, thanks for watching the video.